folks. We're now on to lesson 87 and today I thought what I'd do is uh, we, we, we looked at those sketches the other day and, and here's one that I, I like that uh, uh, following seagull if you like it's a sea, seagull a typical sea but a seagull scene uh, on the on the on the Norfolk coast there a few old sheds this is a sketch I've got it's a few old sheds the, the village in the in the distance over there, the sea at this side, and a bit of a path coming up to these sheds. There's, there's a telegraph pole. I'm not sure I'm going to pull that in yet, but we'll 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 see. So that's that's the initial sketch that we had. I'll move that out of the way now. These are the colours I'm going to use. The same type of colours I use all. Day. I shan't put. I don't put any many illusion. No illusion on this one. I'll keep that out for a bit. So it's, it's the top three there of those. That's the ochre or the ultramarine and the ultramarine burnt umber together. And, and I want to give it a nice light, this painting, not not too heavy. So there are the colours, they can go for a start and see where we go from there. And there's the sketch, I've done the sketch already, saves a bit of time. And the brushes I've got, I'm using these these Western type brushes, these mop brushes. Uh, there's three there, as you can see. That These two I've been using so far, but I just wanted to show you that one. That is a, a, a real beast, it is, and far too big for a painting of this size. So I'm, I'm going to dispense with that one t for today. Not use that. And just stick to these two, if I can, and see how we go. Right, let's get cracking. Clean water. Randomly. On the sky. Want to put some sunshine in there. This one. This is raw sienna. A nice sky. And then we've got some ultramarine blue, not too strong, as I say it's, it's a, a weakish coloured type sky, it's, I don't want it to to take over. Just get moving out. Just, just add, let your brush do it. Don't, don't you get involved. Just, just the brush will do it for you. Not to get onto the horizon here. There's the sea just there, and here's the landmass just this side. So we're down to that level. One of the sheds. If you can. And then a bit, a bit of dodgy, dodgy cloud. You get, you get the cloud about, don't you? So the mass of the pictures about this. So a bit of a cloud at this corner here. That'll help. And the light today is coming from, let's see now, I think the, from the, from the, over my left shoulder, if you like. I shan't fiddle with this guy because it's, 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 it's just a backdrop really on this one. Right, the sky is nice and dry now, so let's have a look what we're going to do with this. We'll get some of this blocked in here. This, this is basically a, a sand dune here. Uh, 
but well, so I'll, I'll send you that in there, leave, leave the seal on, and uh, we'll take it from there. And uh, we've got to be some greens on there because you get this uh, what they call marrow grass, it's sea grass, it's, it's coarse stuff, but all, it holds the, the nuance together. So we'll, we'll put some. This is uh, the raw sienna. I'm just washing it lightly over this. Do you know, I like these little brushes. You cannot fiddle, and, and I, I, I don't like fiddling. This is like an undercoat. You can see where the, 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 some of the marron grass is, just there. And it comes down this bank here, like it's a bit greeny. Right, we're all right there for a start. And uh, I've introduced, let's see, I'll make a touch of uh, green. I'll use some ultramarine. Just a touch of ultramarine. And the first color we use, the, the, the sienna, the raw sienna. And let's see what we've got with that. And try and put in some of this, this stuff here, this, this stuff. Bit too wet as yet. I think I better let it dry a bit, I think. Yeah. I'll, I'll try and put some of the shadowy stuff in down here. I want to leave the eye to, into, the, into the picture, of course. But this grassy stuff is it's, it's, it's greener than that. So I'll try, I might introduce some cadmium yellow into that and let's see see if we get a, a better type green. That with a touch of ultramarine. See what that gives us. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, that, that, that's better. That, that's more greeny. I get some brown to this as well. Of course, this is a grassy bank down here, this side. Let's just to touch that out. It's too, too, too flat and boring. Give it more interest. It look, look too much like a lawn. I don't want that. Right. So where are we going from here? Let's see what we've got. Stronger on that. I've slipped some brown into that as well. This is. I slipped some uh, burnt umber. Try to touch his burnt umber in there. Not too heavy, not too. Keep the, the, the palette simple. Um, it, it's going a lot wet into wet. I, I want some dry stuff as well. background there. I've 
a light colour, light colour green on there. Yeah, I don't want it to draw draw the eye to, to that. It's, it's it's distance stuff. I want a bit of twiddling later, but but for now it's this background stuff. Nice and dry. Right, I think I'll leave this for a bit and just deal with this background. I might uh, just to get that that distant piece there, uh, to fringe ultramarine, and just a touch of uh, alizarin crimson in there, just to take it back for me a bit. That should be enough. That's on the on the horizon. This is this is real background stuff. A brush full of paint. A couple of houses there, so mind the houses. So I'm just there. That's all, that's all you need for that. I'll, I'll, I'll tattle some of these buildings around here now, just, just to see where we're going. These in the village are just normal houses or so. I'll use some, uh, I'll do some burnt sienna on these on the roof and that, let's see how we go with that. They're not important, the, the, the background detail, but uh, I still like to get it right anyway. There's some of the background here, I just touched, I might be too soon though, because that, that distance is still still wet. We'll, see. we'll put them touches in, uh, put the house in here. a bit darker when, when it's when it's dried a bit that I use some of this just on here like actually this is sort of I'm, I'm using this stuff here just to put a bit of flicky flicky grass in amongst that now it's dry it's it just adds a little bit and stuff like that in there. Are these, I'll, I'll finish those buildings up first. I'll put a roof on the, this one here. It'll be a bit darker than the, what the, what the brickwork was. So this is the roof on this one. See the edge of the tiles and that there. This roof will be similar. Chimney pot, the chimney pot there. And of course this, this some here will be. I'm just flicking these in. It's just like it's distant. And, and you can't make them out really. But it's part of the village. I don't want to put cats and dogs and stuff like that in, it's just suggesting houses. Right, now I've, uh, these are, these are, I think they use them for 
for fishing and bring us because they did all the fishing off the beach here yeah? and uh, the, the rods and all that stuff I suppose they, they, they're retaining some of these buildings so I want to do a, a collection of a variety of colours for these buildings because they, 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 they are colourful in fact uh, I think the f we'll make this, this first one on the left a test paper I make this building a bit dark. It's uh, nothing special. There's the first one. I'll leave this one white and put a pantal top on it. A bit colourful. So put a touch of a slaty thing down that side. Get the roof in. Then this one I think will pull up. Well this one a bit blue I think that. He's painted this blue this bloke. I don't know why, but uh, really give give us a bit of a bit of a variety in colour for this one here. colour on that and there's another little one down here paint that one as well shall we uh, have that one a darkish well a bit light red that one Pull the windows in and stuff like that in a, in a bit, when, a bit later. Right, I'll leave them for a bit now. Let them dry. That sounded that green a little bit too wishy-washy on the background there. I'll try and improve this a little bit. Put some C in there that uh, pick up the colours from the, the sky, of course. These dunes, you drop down to there, and there's sandbanks here, and then they go out fishing. So there's the sea, there's the village. 
Let's try and just put in one or two little bits of detail on these these properties. Perhaps the other window that'll help, won't it? A couple of windows in this. Less shoulders, so there'll be just a bit dark on this this face here. That'll give that shed a bit of shape. We'll put a little window in. Into the shed there. Too wet. This I'll try. But see what the window in. It is too wet. Yeah, I'll wait for that for a bit. Right, a little bit on this grass bit while that's drying off. That makes a bit, makes a bit, oh, a bit more greens in there. I'm not, I'm not getting busy on it, I'm just showing stuff in there a bit darker than that I think, just to turn that down a shade. And get somewhere around this, this shed and that, that's line grit. some little bits in here because this this marrow grass it, 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 it grows uh, well it, it's, it's not very it's not uniform it, it, it tends to do its own thing Fence to put in here, don't do. And I put some grasses down this this bank here because it, it's not just all sand. It's if it, the, the 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 grass is there to hold the the the, the, the sun back. It it's uh, it, it it's so volatile. It it just moves. And if this, this marrow grass holds it together, of course it's, it's I'm doing this smaller because it's further away. amongst the dunes and that.
keep working on these grasses. I'll keep the eye into the picture, won't it? So this is mainly sand, this piece here. This is grass which has established itself over the over the time and, and, the, and of course the, the sand is, is rock solid here so there'll be no problem with it. Right, let's see if we can put a bit of dark detail in that dark blue as well. Suggesting a window, if you like. Know. I might put a bit of go action on there later and, and signify a window in there so it'd be easier. Just getting these, these marron grasses look a bit anchored. I've got to put some posts in here as well. There's a bit of a fence there. Let's, let's try and establish that, shall we? I'm still using this, this uh, squirrel mop. See how we go with it. So we get a fine edge. And for me so we'll we'll, we'll, we'll manage without the the, the the post put a window in here shall we that's a bit dark on that side if yeah, the lights have my left shoulder this these sides of the uh, these buildings are going to be in shade, aren't they? So that's been in shade. The end of that building is going to be in shade, like that. There's going to be some shadows across here, like that. Some shadows down here. shadow of this side of there and some over the back of this here it flicks across I suppose we might get a touch of Reflection from the no, reflection shadow from those pillar posts. I think I'll put a touch of gouache on there just to put, uh, well, that end panel there that, that'll be in shade, won't it? There. This will be in shade here, this, this dark panel here. And this one. That's it there, there, there. I'll probably cast a bit of shadow on there. Well, 
Let's see if we can have some windows in this thing here. And this stuff is gouache, you know, you can, you can uh, get yourself out of a bit of bother with it by looking as though something, something's interesting. Touch of something in that one there. Correction here because it's, it's gone blue with the with the uh, sky. So I'm just getting back with a bit of white there. Cheating, if you like. I'm also get a bit dark on that. That's the that's the this here. Couple of figures in, shall we? I mean, it's uh, walking in towards these houses. I do bit of colour. This is cadmium red. This, this is Fred loves this colour. Right, Fred. <clears throat> I'll put you about here, making your way up. He's going to be a bit, he's, he's thinking that fence will be about oh, two foot six. So he's, he's going to be quite a, quite a big chap here, isn't he? As he makes his way up there. Should I put Mabel in as well? I'll put Mabel in, yeah. Put a fancy top one. Here's Mabel. That's a fancy top brush, you I really do. All these undercut, the, oh, the courting, this is before they were married, this folks. They're actually holding hands. And she's, you know, Mabel's a redhead, she's going to put some hair on. And she's got matching jeans on with, with Fred because she got them uh, two for one in the Debenhams closing down sale. She's slimmer than, slimmer than Fred. Nice girl. And off, off they go into the distance. Do you think they'll put some footprints in the sand? Or am, I, or am I am I nitpicking? Some of some of that issue here, don't I? 
as they walk in the sand. Oh, that looks all right, huh? yeah, yeah. Walking, walking up in the sand. By oh, Jove. There they go. They haven't wandered anywhere. They, oh, off they go. And there's about a little figure up near the the top, doing something on his uh, on his on his shed. Uh, what colour shall we have him? Oh, he's, he's got, he'll have a he'll have a blue top on this lad. See what that looks like. Oh, that'll be all right. That. I'm putting him against this white, this white thing. See, he's got to fit in that door, and so he's got to be smaller than that door. So he will put him in here. He, like, uh, there'll be overalls these. There he is. Only I'll put another one. He's talking to his mate, and he's got. Uh, He's got a brown bit up this lad. There he is. Just touch his head in like that. And this one got to touch him a head in. What colour hair do you want? But it, there is two of them. That's two for uh, well, another one. I don't like even numbers. So another one somewhere. Let's see. He'll be. I'll be. He'll be. He could be a tourist. See with with a. Who was just stood about here. Got a white shirt on and a flat cap. That's it, he's doing. He's looking what's happening around that corner. We have some black trousers on. Seaside. There's a gull. Why well, don't we put in one? Just one gull. This it's a, a lonely gull. It's a, it's a scout. Because they they do this. They send scouts out. You know. I mean, Carol and I feed the birds. We got we got I think eleven bee, bird feeders on on the on the the tree outside. They get better fed than me. But uh, if we put any, any bread out on the lawn, th there's a, a, a seagull, because quite close to the sea, the seagull, that just, it, it seems to spot it and then brings all its mates. It's just a, a, like a, a, it's a, a spotter. And as soon as it goes, come on lads, here we go. And they come down in a flock and the, the bread is gone in no time. So it's, it's, it's quite quite interesting to watch them. I look, look to see them. Yeah, really nice. That brown on that.
I'm fiddling now. I just want to be fiddling now. I hate it when I get fiddling. It's difficult to stop. So look, 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 look that, that's it, folks, for today. That's that's our, our, our sort of sheds, sheds on the on the North Norfolk coast. The beach is down here. The sea's over there. This is this is barren grass and all this. There's the village in the distance. There's Fred and Mabel walking up towards these sheds, asking these fishermen if they caught anything. And uh, and and that's it for today, folks. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a nice little picture. Uh, if you have enjoyed it. Uh, give us a like and uh, subscribe and uh, well I'll tell you what I'll before I, I go I'll, I'll close it down for a bit, bit for you see if it looks any better how's that is that, that any better and uh, well, well, that's our finished picture and I'll, I'll see you on 87 was it was this 86 86 yeah. I'll see you on 87 when probably another sketch like this we'll, we'll, we'll see where we go so so from Fred Mabel and myself it's it's goodbye for now and uh, I hope you enjoyed it bye bye folks see you, see you again bye bye